Hey guys and welcome to Witches of the Moon. This is our first week and the topic this week is cleansing rituals. Okay, so getting right into the topic. First of all, hope y'all all had a good break. Um, thank you to everybody who interacted with us during the break. And thank you to all our new subscribers and all that good stuff. Many blessings to y'all. But getting right into the topic, which is ritual cleansing, there's many ways to, um, well, for me, anything anything can be a ritual, first of all. Let me say that off the bat. Anything can be a ritual. So as far as cleansing, there's many ways to do that. Um, you can cleanse your home with sage, smudging, um, and, and do that on a weekly basis and have certain prayers and certain affirmations you say while you're smudging. You can cleanse with incense, um, which would be the same like smudging when you're walking around and you're letting the air... Um, hit your home. You can cleanse as far as energy with stones. One of the stones I love is smoky quartz. And um, for my children, I'll put it under the pillow while they're sleeping and it draws out all the negative energy. I'll put it under my pillow. I'll set it um, in the corners of the home and leave it for about two days. And then um, I'll either cleanse the stones or I'll throw the stones away. And by throw it away, I don't mean in the trash. Normally I put it in like a river or a canal or I'll bury it in the ground somewhere away from where I live. Uh, also, there's egg cleansings, you know, where you just take the egg and, well, it's, I'm making the egg cleansing much simpler than what it really is, but really you just take the egg and you go through all the points in your body. You could do it from chakras or you could do it from um, just more so any meridians, which is kind of the same thing as chakras, but you could do the seven major ones or you could do the minor ones, which is what I mean. And then... Um, I kind of like the egg cleansing because once you do that, you can crack the egg in a glass of water and you can actually read the egg and see what it means. Or if you don't want to read the egg, you just want to cleanse and you want to do this regularly, just take it and then you go and again, remove the egg off of your property as soon as possible. Um, a lot of people like to crack it and throw it in the toilet. I mean, if you have to, you have to, but I prefer not to do that. I prefer to go and put it off into nature and let it go back into nature so nature can transmute it as opposed to it going through pipes and all that other stuff. I, I have issues with certain stuff. <laughs> I have a lot of pet peeves. So, um, yeah, as far as ritual cleansing, you can make anything a ritual cleansing. When you're standing in, when you're in a bath, um, well, I prefer a ritual cleaning, cleansing, I prefer a shower. So when you're in the shower water, um, you can just think of all the negative things and as you think of the negative things, inhale and then release it as the water is hitting you with the exhale. That's another way to ritual cleanse. Um, that's one thing my, my um, husband does, Grizz does all the time, every day. That's a ritual for him when he gets home for work, releasing all their energy in the shower. So. As far as ritual cleansings, there's many ways to do it. There's no right or wrong way. Um, I suggest you create your own and, you know, have fun with it. And don't let nobody tell you there's a right or wrong way to do your own rituals. Okay? So everybody stay blessed. Don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe. See you next week. Peace.